we are now getting to the deep uh, to the debrief discussion where tonight we're talking about single parenting and early pregnancy to help us talk about this topic tonight we have evangelist Mutinda Charles who's a founder and relationship coach of love train family tonight we seek to understand what challenges do single parents face and most of the times when we talk about single parenting we focus on the women but tonight we try to also understand what are some of the challenges that single dads go through as they try to bring up their children by themselves we also try to see how do we try to end the isolation or the stereotype that comes with people who have found themselves being single parents talk to us across our social media platforms that is at y254 channel and also reach me at patricia morioki welcome charles to our uh, interview tonight i hope that you're well yeah, uh, so as we start off, uh, I'd first like to ask, give us a brief background on what Love Train is all about. Thank you so much, Patricia. You're welcome. You're looking good. Thank you. Uh, one of the things that uh, the society has tried to look at is the neglection of the single parents. Mm -hmm. And to be specific, just as I said, the single dads mm -hmm. and the single moms. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've seen a trend in the society whereby you find a very good wedding, mm -hmm. very energetic, mm -hmm. very costly. Mm -hmm. We go, we dance, mm -hmm. we celebrate. Yeah. Six months down the line, even sometimes you don't even get the six months, mm -hmm. you had so and so, they broke up. Mm -hmm. So you start looking and asking yourself, what is this that is not happening? And you find by the time even they are breaking up, that maybe the, there was a kid involved, mm -hmm. uh, and at the end of the day, the kid now li lives with the mother or with the father. Mm -hmm. And to make it even worse, the church, mm -hmm. the people of the faith, mm -hmm. the people who are born again, the people who are going to heaven, mm -hmm. are leading in this trend, failed mm -hmm. marriages. Mm -hmm. So you find I was in a position to ask myself, what can I do? Mm -hmm. Because we need this one to, we need an action plan. Mm -hmm. We need to be available. Mm -hmm. If only we can help these people first focus with their foundation. Mm -hmm. Because the moment the foundation is wrong, mm -hmm in when you're getting to marriage, mm -hmm. then everything will definitely fail. Okay. So that is one, one of the things that has contributed. Mm -hmm. The other thing is you find that uh, uh, I, I like girl empowerment. Mm -hmm. It's good, mm -hmm. it's strong. Mm -hmm. But you find that as much as the girl empowerment is happening, mm -hmm. the boy-child empowerment is not taking place. Okay. So you find when these young people are getting into marriage or they're having a relationship, when a kid comes, they get confused mm -hmm. and they run out, they, they, they just uh, abscond their, their, their responsibility Mm -hmm. you end up finding there's a single dad mm -hmm. and a single mom. Okay. They are very young at age mm -hmm. and there's nothing you can do. Okay. So I got this passion to just raise up, try to come up and engage them. Mm -hmm. Try also to see those who are in challenged situations, how can you help them? Because when you have, if you are bringing up a kid mm -hmm. and you are a single parent, mm -hmm. there must be a way to make sure this kid is getting the attention and okay. all the resources are needed. Okay. So that's what we do at Love Train. Okay. So when you talk about, I understand that you have a program that gets to focus on single parents and early pregnancies. What are some of the things that you hope to achieve and how do you engage these single parents? Uh, I'll, I'll give you, I'll start by an example. Last weekend, mm -hmm. uh, we, we were engaged in a program in Akuru. Mm -hmm. We were visiting a, a group of, of, of young ladies mm -hmm age 12 and 17. Mm -hmm. You find they are in the deep end. They are the place where they come from. It's a place where Chang'a is brood. Mm -hmm. It's a place where there's violence. Mm -hmm. It's a place where there is no hope when you look physically. Mm -hmm. So you find these young parents, mm -hmm. they are so young at their age. Somebody is having a kid at age 14. Mm -hmm. The parents are not responsible. Mm -hmm. So you find they are in also confused state at that age. So mm -hmm. what we are doing with these young people, we are supporting them to know some basic skills mm -hmm. like crocheting mm -hmm. you see these are people who have not gone to school yeah or some of they dropped off because of the pregnancy mm -hmm. and uh, you find you have to engage them and help them to learn some new few things that can help them to grow mm -hmm. so like uh, they also like you teach them tailoring mm -hmm. so as they are growing up mm -hmm. one they have some mentors who are standing with them okay the other thing also we try to look and see how we can support them mm -hmm. these young girls they could not even afford to have things like panties, underwears, mm -hmm. bras, pads, mm -hmm. pads. And, and one of the things, let me, I can say, which stood out, mm -hmm. they are used to getting 
panties. Mm -hmm. But around this time, we decided, let's let's give them bras. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, a, wow. a, a kid of about 13 years, mm -hmm. she's getting, she's just developing, and she has a new bra. Mm -hmm. It was lively in there. So what we are trying to do is, what we realize, what are their needs, mm -hmm. and how can we reach out mm -hmm. to make sure that we are helping them to grow. Mm -hmm. We are helping them to see it is not the end of life. Mm -hmm. There is hope. Mm -hmm. and there is stability mm -hmm. for them because one of one of the things you do as you mentor them mm -hmm. is, is to be present mm -hmm. and share your life share with them what are the things like me i being i was once a street boy mm -hmm. i have lived and survived in the streets mm -hmm. i know how hard it is mm -hmm. they are not in the streets okay. yes they have parents some of them single or some of them have not even they just live with their lattice but the kind of life they live mm -hmm. they need to be given hope okay that you could have gone through the worst but yet achieve mm -hmm. in life so that's how we do it okay i like the fact that you've talked about giving them prayers yes because i'd say i've been involved in charity events before yes and most of the times we think about the pants, yes. uh, we don't really think about the bras. Yeah. So we take a very short break on Y254, uh, but when we come back, we dive in more on this topic tonight. Please don't go too far away. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Y254. Thank you for staying with us on Y254 Updates. And tonight on The Debrief, if you're just joining us, we're talking about single parenting and early pregnancy. Talk to us across our social media platforms. That is at Y254 channel. You can also reach me at Patricia Moriuki. Now, I'd like us to talk about challenges that are faced by single parents. Uh, we know that most of the times, single mothers are, are the ones who speak out and say, I am going through this and this. The child has neglected, and, uh, the, mother, the father rather has neglected and the child. In your program and has you continue to interact with single parents in the society what is one of the challenge probably that you've identified that is faced by single dads that people are not aware of uh, one, one thing that we have seen is uh, the single dads mm -hmm. it's it's like they don't exist mm -hmm. it's like it's they, true. They, they they are not talked about mm -hmm. nobody even thinks they are there mm -hmm. i have a friend of mine uh, and uh, he is a uh, is a single dad mm -hmm. and uh, he took his time to share his story mm -hmm. on his facebook profile mm -hmm. and uh, he, he wrote it in pieces and in pieces and when you listen and go through that story you realize men are suffering mm -hmm. uh, one of the reasons why they are suffering because mm -hmm. they expected by the society majority that they, sh they should behave strong, mm -hmm. they should not cry, mm -hmm. they should be able to stand as a man. Mm -hmm. And you find when somebody has got a passion for the kid, mm -hmm. sometimes they tried, like this fellow tried to make the relationship work, it didn't work. Mm -hmm. So when they reach a place, okay, now I am a single father, uh, I have to take care of this kid, mm -hmm. the mother was not there. Mm -hmm. He took all it took to just raise the kid. And mm -hmm. he shared his story and you could feel the pain. Mm -hmm. And you could imagine the other men who are going through the same. Okay. They never wished. I, 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 in fact, one of the things that happens for you to be a single parent, in most cases, they never wish to yeah, be single parents. Mm -hmm. That's one thing the society does not understand. And when now this person has already been identified as a single dad, mm -hmm. there is that kind of like, uh, is a failure. Mm -hmm. how, can, how, how can such a good man like this have a beautiful, handsome kid like this and be single? Mm -hmm. So they, they fight so hard to show the society we are strong. Okay. Again, when they also look in for, some of them, you see someone wants to settle down, mm -hmm. there is that like, kind of baggage sometimes people think it's only women who fear to say they have babies mm -hmm. because when uh, they are dating when they are stuff. dating uh -huh. but you find by the time this guy is saying uh, i'm a single dad mm -hmm. I'm, I'm raising up my kid there's that like what did you do to the mother so you find they have to fight to explain and for this other person to start seeing mm -hmm. it was not the uh, the, the, the man or it was not the lady and because it's just one-sided so they fight a lot to, to, to define their positions of society okay and then the other thing you find that let me tell you cooking is easy mm -hmm. looking for food mm -hmm. is difficult mm -hmm. but the moment you are looking for the food mm -hmm. and you, you are have cooking to cook it. the two things and you are the one person who is doing it's not easy mm -hmm. it's hard mm -hmm. so you find that these kids as they are growing up Probably this man has to raise a standard. Mm -hmm. He has also to like, you know, you have to raise a kid in a value to, to have some values that it matters. Mm -hmm. You can uh, be a good husband, a good wife. You find 
there is a challenge to this man. Okay. He has to look for somebody probably who will also raise this kid like a mother. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they don't get that. You find they are at their 40s, their 50s, they are still single. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things that the society has forgotten. When these guys, sometimes not that they want, they are still looking for somebody mm -hmm. who can fit in the shoes or who can help in the raising of their kids. Okay. Finances. We, one of the things that being a single mother, I think would be one of the, we could look at looking for finances. You know when you are a mother, mm -hmm. you are carrying a baby, mm -hmm. uh, there are some good Samaritan can just you can okay as a woman it is uh, easy to easy to, to, to ask. give the help to, yes, yeah and even for a woman to ask that's for the, the help I was yeah. looking for. but as a as a man to call someone and say you know i have a kid and he doesn't have milk doesn't have pampas doesn't have panties it looks awkward mm -hmm. so you find they also have a challenge in trying to prove to the society and to prove this kid i can provide for them okay. and again distributing that time mm -hmm. one of the things that i say women are blessed with is the, the to be able to multitask mm -hmm. do this do that do that mm -hmm. but a man when he's feeding the kid he just he's can only the feed kid. the <laughs> he's not he doesn't have the feed to feed the kid watch the news watch uh, the, do, do uh, the laundry the and all that so that's another challenge whether you find this man has to has to fit in okay yes uh, i would like us to talk about um co-parenting yes uh for single parents out there we've had cases where the single the, the mother or the father that is now the person who happens to be the single parent yes. is so bitter with what happened in the relationship because yes. as, as you've said most of the times people don't don't make the choice to be a single parent as yes. much as their people would want that mm -hmm. probably you've lost your spouse a relationship did not work out uh, you got a child and you people were not ready to commit to each other yes. so how can our parents come together putting their differences aside and prioritizing the needs of the child to build an environment or create an environment where this child does not grow up with traumas mm -hmm. that are probably going to be noticed later on in life. Something mm -hmm. that people try, people tend to really give a blind eye to, yes, yes. but we know traumas are there and some of the, sometimes you, your, your reaction or mm -hmm. your attitude towards something is because probably you lacked your father or your mother or you were treated in a certain way. Yes. So how can parents build uh, healthy environments for their kids even as they're separated? One of the things is first is to accept. Mm -hmm. uh, the moment you have accepted that you are a single father, mm -hmm. you are a single mom, mm -hmm. and you have to to co to co work together. Mm -hmm. The accepting part is what matters most mm -hmm. because you are able to face this challenge, you are able to come out strong, you are able to put your needs aside mm -hmm. to accept that things never worked mm -hmm. out. Now I have to re-engineer myself, how do I bring this kid as a co-parent? Mm -hmm. The other thing that we also look at is uh, I tell ladies when they are dating or when they are outside there, whether dating or not dating, be a proud mom. Mm -hmm. Be proud that you have a kid. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter the relationship between the uh, the father mm -hmm. and the kid mm -hmm. and you. Mm -hmm. It may be so, it may not be working, mm -hmm. but be proud mother. Mm -hmm. Be a proud dad. Mm -hmm. Because what these kids are looking for, they are looking for people they can stand up for them. Mm -hmm. They are looking for people who are strong for them. Mm -hmm. So the moment you are a proud dad, mm -hmm. you are a proud mom, okay. you also instill a lot of good things into this kid. Mm -hmm. The other thing also that we also need to look at, when these fights occur, the kid was not there. Mm -hmm. They should not be involved. Mm -hmm. You should not be uh, harboring bitterness mm -hmm. because the father is not there mm -hmm. or the mother is not there. Mm -hmm. And sharing this, one of the things I think this is done most by ladies, mm -hmm. because you have to venture out and you are disappointed, mm -hmm. you talk negatively about, about the, the father, father yeah, to, the to this kid. Mm -hmm. So this kid growing up, he knows all fathers are bad. Mm -hmm. My dad was a bad dude. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he, he messed up my mom. Mm -hmm. So you find as they are growing up, they have this negative energy. They have no nothing good that comes from men. Mm -hmm. So they end up uh, the society Resenting men. Just, just getting out of in a, just in messy situations. Okay. The other thing is uh, you have to identify the needs of this kid. Mm -hmm. As much as you are single and you are co-parenting, mm -hmm. What are the needs this kid need? Mm -hmm. What are the environments that you need to create for them? Okay. Because remember, they are interacting with the other kids that are coming from families. Mm -hmm. And if this kid is not getting some of the things mm -hmm. that, a, uh, that a kid should get, mm -hmm. they may think this is a result because my mom is the only one who takes care of me mm -hmm. or my dad who takes care of me. Yeah. So you need to create an environment mm -hmm. that tells this kid, yes, we are co-parenting. Our problems should not create a problem for you. For, okay. Uh, maybe the other one which I want to add is, uh, I've seen, you, you know, you've seen it in the supermarket, you've mm -hmm. seen the shops, in the cars, Baba, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> baba baba nyamaza baba baba <laughs> si mshika baba <laughs> we are babaring our kids so much <laughs> to a point you don't that to baba them now you, you, you can't afford to baba the kid and we look at the society and how things are but we also mama as we baba <laughs> yeah okay mama and baba it is it's on the same I, uh-huh. one thing as a parent i don't accept you to call my kid mama and wow. baba my kid is called imela and my, call her my by son their name. is called jabali mm-hmm call them by their names okay. because when you call them by their names when you try to give them identity mm. they will not grow up confused you are trying to instill some discipline be disciplinian that's one of the things i also say in parenting mm-hmm. when it times to discipline kindly discipline them with a lot of kindness and a lot of love okay that's 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 parenting <laughs> that's a new one so if you're out there mama in and baba in <laughs> anyway people have different styles when it comes to parenting yes. as we as we wind up uh, when you talk about early pregnancies uh most of the times people have talked about introducing a sex education in schools uh, people have different perceptions about that uh, what is your take what role do you think uh, introducing sex education in our schools is going to help us uh, curb uh, how is it going to help us curb earlier pregnancies uh, let me say this and i say it with a very open mind and a very open heart mm-hmm. the church needs to take its place mm-hmm. and speak about these things mm-hmm. With a, because they have the authority, they have the platform, mm-hmm. they have to let it be discussed. Okay. Because the moment you don't create a platform where we can be able to discuss things that are happening mm-hmm. in our society, mm-hmm. they will run out. Okay. Mr. Google has become a very good friend to many people. Mm-hmm. So they are starting to Google in for solutions for Mr. Google. Mm-hmm. While the church needs to take its place and allow this discussion, I believe it's good to discuss. My kid, she's seven years old hold mm-hmm. she does not know how to read yet mm-hmm. but she wrote something and i i, I asked her what is it is she said i love mom mm-hmm. I, i love, love dad, dad. Mm-hmm. and then what is the other then she laughed she said if i tell you you're going to laugh it and mm-hmm. i was like okay tell me when i grow up i'll have a kid oh and then i was like oh, oh okay a kid yes so what do we call this so we had a conversation mm-hmm. so it's good to understand that as the church we need to understand these things are happening mm-hmm. let's talk about them mm-hmm. let's engage the society let's go at our level mm-hmm. um, I, I, i like the term one of the things i'm an international husband mm-hmm. married to a beautiful tanzanian lady mm-hmm. wow international yes. <laughs> by the name koku mm-hmm. we are blessed with two kids mm-hmm. and uh, one thing i've seen that is you are doing some counseling mm-hmm. and this man comes and tells you me i wanted to have four kids mm-hmm. and this lady wants to have one kid mm-hmm. so you start to ask yourself you, before you got married what were you discussing during dating mm-hmm. so you find because there are not these basics there are no foundations mm-hmm. this early pregnancy when they take place this mm-hmm. person was not prepared okay. and nobody took the position to enlighten them okay. so i believe as the society especially the church mm-hmm. should take the forefront mm-hmm. uh, allow sex education okay. at different levels was at different stages because look at the cartoons what are the cartoons doing mm-hmm. you'll be amazed the things the cartoon that are being driven by the western <laughs> world okay let me cut you short and just give you 30 seconds yes. for a mother and a father out there with a single parent and they've made the decision to not be part of their child's life what message do you have for them 30 seconds as we wind up uh, i want to encourage them that being a parent is a gift mm-hmm. There are so many people who are waiting or are looking for how to raise up their kids that they don't have the ability. Mm-hmm. Play your role. Mm-hmm. Put your differences aside, create an environment for these kids mm-hmm. so that when they grow up, mm-hmm. you can be able to rely on them or they can support you back because you will need them. Okay. That is a requirement, mm-hmm. that is the law, that's mm-hmm. it's just a way mm-hmm. to make the society better. Okay. Yes. Uh, thank you very much uh, Evangelist Mutinda for finding the time to be here with us. I think we're going to schedule for another interview yes. to probably handle more cuz I just notice that you have so much wisdom around uh, parenting and stuff that we will talk about thank yes. you very much for being with us tonight uh, we wish you a very good night and see you tomorrow same time uh, as we talk about business tuesday my name is patricia mario kidovia says a very good night why mashariki is coming right up